Hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's Tie Dye. So, super hot outside. That's why I'm not wearing makeup, sort of. But just, I'm not wearing makeup, okay? So, get past it. <laughs> so, because it is so hot, we are going to do cut off shorts. I believe these are a size six. Definitely not my size, so keep checking my Etsy. We are working on our website. It's gonna be awesome, super cool looking. You'll be able to buy everything that I make if you don't wanna already do it yourself. So um, the, our website is going to have things that we don't do on camera as well. So for those of you that are curious, when that website is up, we will have one of a kind things on there that you won't see here on the channel. So when we have that up, we'll let you know. But we're gonna do some cutoff shorts and we're gonna make them look like a watermelon. Isn't that cute? Summer fruit, keep cool. Anyways, we had a little bit of a busy week last week. That's why we did not get to the comment shout out, but Normally I wait till the end. I'm going to do that now. So congratulations to, I'm sorry if I don't say your name right. I am very sorry. Don't hate me. Shayna Paulus. She wants to see a yin yang tapestry and I would love to do one for you. And we have a really cool idea for it. So that video will be done this week because it was supposed to be done this week anyways. We just didn't get to the comment shout out part. So congratulations, Shayna Paulus. I hope I got it right. Tell me I did. But let's get started on these shorts and then we'll be doing that tapestry this week. Let's get to it. All right, you guys. So for this tutorial of the watermelon shorts, I have a 100% cotton pair of cutoff shorts. I actually got these at Walmart, but you can find these pretty much anywhere. Um, then I'm going to use kite string. However, you can use rubber bands. I'm using kite string because I really want this to be pretty tight without any white lines. Um, when we dye, however, when we put the dye on to the shorts, we are going to leave the whole middle section white and probably quite a bit of it because our colors that we put on the outside are probably going to bleed in a little bit, but we will use our thick water dye for that too today. So this is quite simple. Um, and just so you know, for these shorts, uh, watermelons normally have seeds in them. So because we want these to look like watermelon shorts, we're going to use fabric marker when these are washed and dried and we're going to make our own seeds on there. So just so you know, to stick, it out till the end you can see how i do that too so these are a little off not really off but the seams come in on the front so that is normal for these shorts and then you can see this is a kind of all bunched up so we're kind of gonna have to just work with these so that we get them the way that we want them um, it's not as important from here down because we're going to be dousing that with dye anyways, but these are quite thick. They're denim. But all we're going to do is, it, if you want to, you can draw a line, but I'm not even doing that because I'm going straight across. So we're going to pleat fold all the way across the whole pair of shorts. So just make sure you're getting both layers of shorts in there. And it will be a little difficult because you got a whole lot to pleat and some of it's thick and some of it's not. So might be a little difficult at first. Once you get going, it will be fine. Or you know, a better way we might be able to do this is just pleat fold the center of them and then we can pleat fold the rest of them as when we're done with that. Tie the middle up and pleat fold that. That would be better. And then the center part is going to be a little difficult. Got a big old hem, whatever you want to call it there. Try 
try to keep your pleats about the same size, but same height. If you can, go all the way across. There's some rips in these jeans, which I like. Like I said, these are not my size, so when we do our new website, that's where they will be going. Right on there. Okay. So don't worry about your outsides just yet. We want to get this tied down so that we don't have to worry about it coming undone. So you can rubber band it or you can use your kite string like I'm going to do and lay it across the top, hold it with your fingers and go right underneath it if your shorts will let you. And then go over again. And I'm going to use, I'm not going to cut it at all. I'm going to use the same kite string the whole time. So I'm just going to stop there. And then we're going to come back over here and fix these pleats so they kind of match. So they are a little bit thicker in the middle. So we're just going to work on these. You can re-pleat it. If you don't like the pleat that you had, you can just make new ones, which is kind of what I'm doing because of the, I don't like saying this word, but the private area part of the shorts bunch up. So you might have to make your own pleats regardless of whether you want to or not. So then, our kite string is going to get wrapped around all of that too. So I'm going to pull that over a little bit and hold it there. Get it under. I am just going around and wrapping it all up. So it's tight and held together. Come back to the middle. And then we got this side to do. So you can do that same with this side. You'll have a little difficulty because the, if you get the same shorts as I do, these are really thick. The waistband is thick. So you're gonna just have to work with it the best that you can and make new pleats or you can use the pleats that you had already made. Easier said than done, I know. And then we got these big old buttons. So that's a lot thicker, but we will come over here and I'm right handed. So I'm just going the right side. and then find your original kite string you had and tie that off. All right, so there is our watermelon shorts. They're just plate folded and tied up. And then what we're going to do with the dye is we are going to have green here at the top, white in the middle, and then like a pink or a red, depending on what you like. Um, I'm going to go with pink probably. But for my green, I have a lot of different choices. But I think lime pop is a little bit too bright, so I think we're going to go with emerald green and probably hot pink for the bottom. And then we'll use thick water dye in the 
in the middle so that it's going to hopefully stay white. So if you haven't already checked my video about the sodium alginate to make thick water, I already made a video. It's called Rise Tips and Tricks. So the card right here in the corner will take you right to it. So just click that if you want to see the thick water video with tons of other tricks. So now we're ready to put the dye on. All right, so for our watermelon shorts, this is the top and this is the bottom. So I have emerald from Dharma for the top. I have hot hibiscus, which is like a darker pink for the bottom. And I'm gonna use thick water for the very middle to try to keep it white. And after I do this, it's going to sit for 24 hours. When you're ready to um, rinse it with cold water until the dye runs clear, and then we can do a reveal. So I'm just going to get started. guys so we got a reveal for our watermelon shorts while I'm cutting this open it's all kite string I want to say again our comment shout out winner is Shayna Paulus I'm sorry again if I got that wrong I hope I didn't but we are doing a yin yang tapestry as we speak it is sitting and die right now. So that's gonna look awesome. And that's up next. Normally I wait a week and do a video, but because we forgot, not really forgot, but we had a lot going on last week. So since I didn't do that last week, we are doing it for our very next video. So you don't even have to wait that long. So these are ready to open. So this was super easy to cut open because it was kite string but look at these shorts ready these are our watermelon shorts oh my gosh they look awesome i love that so these are emerald on the top thick water dye in the middle and hot hibiscus on the bottom which they're both from dharma trading company the thick water dye is something that i make which you can check out on my Raya's Tips and Tricks video, but we're not done. So in order for these to be true watermelon shorts, we need seeds in the pink section. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna soak these in the sink with Dawn dish soap and hot water to get all the excess dye out so we can keep our white white. I'm gonna do that twice. First time I'm gonna do it for half hour to 45 minutes change the water and then do it again same time and everything and after that wash them let them dry you can do the dryer if you want but I'm hang drying mine and then we're going to use fabric markers to make our seeds so we can have some awesome watermelon shorts and once our website is up these will be on there to purchase these are a size six but you could always request so watermelon in the front, watermelon in the back. Super awesome. So stay to the end so you can see the marker part. Um, I'm pretty sure you know how to use markers, but why not watch? It's fun, let's do it together. So that's where we're going next.
All right, you guys, so this is all fabric markers from Tulip. I actually only used the black and I just wanted to go through real quick and kind of show you how I did it. And um, this fabric marker is permanent. You can wash it after 24 hours after you put it on your fabric. Um, so let these sit for 24 hours or hang them up or whatever you gotta do with them. And then you can wash them totally normal after that. Um, these were gonna be puffy paint, but I've had people have issues with the puffy paint if they use hot water to wash their clothes or um, they put it in the dryer and it melts. So I've been steering clear of that for a while. But these fabric markers work really, really good. I actually just bought mine. I've had these forever, but I bought mine at Walmart. Um, however, I do know that tie-dye stuff and fabric stuff has been scarce lately because it is kind of making a comeback because of the summertime. But I just showed you how to tie-dye watermelon cutoff shorts. So, I hope you loved this tutorial. If you did, hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed yet, you should do that. Just saying. We have a lot more other cool stuff coming up. We still have to do the crossbody bags. We have shoes. Uh, bleach dyed jeans is going to be a really good one. So, you're going to want to subscribe so you don't miss that. Thank you guys for watching.